Welcome to another Mars Play video. This is Mars Mojito, and today we're going to be picking up where we left off with Tribes of Midgard. Let's get to it. Alright, so we're back, and where we last left off, we had just unlocked a couple weapons. Uh, as you can see, my character has a spear. Uh, we got a couple things going. We had something in the ground growing. Uh, we were trying to figure that out as far as what the purpose of the hole was and what happens when you put things in there. We got a couple benches here. Uh, we got a weapon bench unlocked. I see a variety of weapons here that I could choose from. There are a lot of them that are still uh, locked behind the station level, though, so we can't really uh, craft those just yet. But we do have a lot of the materials for the uh, weapons or in this case, the arrows that the ammunition that is available to us uh, off to the right kind of gives you an idea of the components you need for the different crafting recipes. But um, for the most part, we have basic arrows and that's usually going to be good enough. We still do not have pants on. So we're still uh, pursuing getting the materials that we need to make an armor bench so that we can get our character fully clothed and have some protection as he is out fighting. So we're going to continue to go out, explore, try to figure out where we get the leather that we need to build a armor crafting bench, because I think that is the main component. I'm not sure which of these guys give it. I think it might be these guys. Um, yeah, as you can see on the right side, it tells me I got five out of 10 leathers um, needed to craft a armor loom. So that is my priority right now. I got to kill more of these uh, tribal looking dudes. Um, I don't think these little goblin guys give me anything for leather. No, just flint and uh, kind of souls. I guess souls is like a currency in this game. So we're gonna, gonna continue to go around, try to see if we can find more of those guys that's dropping more leather. Um, but once we unlock the armor bench, I'm sure that we're gonna need some more resources to actually unlock the, the pieces of armor. It's probably gonna be some more leather or maybe some kind of uh, metal or flint or whatever, but First things first is let's find some leather. Um, these guys are, are harassing me, so I'm going to go ahead and take them out. But they don't drop leather, so they're not really useful to me in this current situation. I do like the reach of the spear. So, um, but there's a guy over there in the water chucking rocks at me. So that's not helping the situation at all. Um, I have a shield on my back, but it seems to work better when I'm using the one hand uh, swords or weapons. I guess they can't. The character is not able to use it Spartan style, you know, where he has the spear in one hand and the shield in the other. So um, these guys with the rocks, I just got to hurry up and close the gap and get rid of them quick. Because uh, as you can see, around the edges of my screen, I'm already low on health. Um, so we're going to make our way back towards the base on the way. We're going to gather some wood because wood seems to be very important in this game. Um, but in my case right now it's uh, leather is even more important. So uh, still trying to find that elusive, uh, um, leather supplier, I guess, if you will, in the game. So, um, continuing exploring and, uh, we made it back to the base. We're going to go back to the center where the uh, lady is uh, next to the tree, and that's going to automatically fill our health back. So that's kind of like a health replenishing area uh, where you go by the magic tree. And fortunately, my camp is right next to the magic tree, so I can always top off my health if I'm running low. Still haven't fully figured out the construction yet on how to build a house, but that is something that's going to come. But what I do want to do is make sure that I have all the crafting benches laid out. Um, and ultimately, I think once I get a building built, I'm going to move all these crafting benches inside of the building. For now, I'll just have them laid out in a straight line just so I can get familiar 
with uh, what they are and what they produce. So um, in this case, uh, I just dropped down a kind of a, a stone crafting bench. Um, and now I'm going to check all these different benches just to see um, what exactly uh, they unlock and produce and what components they need to be leveled up. Okay, so here's something that I didn't notice before. There's actually a repair option here on this bench. Um, so now I can actually keep fixing my tools uh, using the souls that uh, drop from like those goblin guys that I was fighting earlier. But um, as you can see, I have multiple versions of the same tool. That's because I did not know how to repair them when they would break. Um, I would just basically create a new one. But now that I know that they're repairable, I probably can actually get rid of some of the tools and just keep one of each as far as the type and then just keep repairing um, as they break. Uh, maybe one in a backup just because if you're out in the field and your tool breaks, it's kind of a pain to, to hustle all the way back to your base just to do some repair. So. Um, that is a useful, useful um, piece of information that I learned uh, during this playthrough so that I'm not constantly dealing with uh, either excess tools, excess weapons, or just not knowing how to repair things once they once they break. There are a lot of crafting stations in this game. Um, there are so many, and I really don't know what each of them do. Uh, some of the names are pretty self-explanatory as far as what that crafting bench will give you but even when i scrounge and hustle and get all the resources needed to build those crafting benches i'm still going to be a little bit behind the power curve because i have to now get all the crafting resources i need just to build anything on those benches so um this is just kind of a never-ending grind where you're just constantly going out you're constantly fighting you're constantly chopping trees and you're you're constantly just looking for certain bad guys that you know are going to drop certain resources so you can craft that certain thing so um we're going to try out the uh all the different weapons here we've been trying out the spear i like it it's a little slow as far as the the stabbing compared to like the one-handed axe but i also want to try out that bow and arrow to uh to see how the range attacks are so right now um just kind of going through our weapons and then we're going to get back out hunting.
All right, so I didn't know what those giant balls were. I didn't know they explode when you stab them or hit them. So um, good to know. Maybe what I can do is um, shoot some arrows at them in the future and try to get them to blow up next to the little goblin guys and take them out instead of taking myself out. So I'm going to see how far I can crawl. Maybe I can make it back towards my camp. If I can make it back towards my camp, I can make it to the tree and maybe the tree will heal me enough to make me stand up. So let's see. Doesn't look like it's working. Yeah. Okay. So I guess in that case, when you're down, uh, if you're playing like multiplayer and then you can have someone pick you back up. But since I was solo and I was already down and bleeding out, the tree couldn't save me. So I do have to make my way back over um, where I died. I can't remember if my loot is on the ground or not, but I'm going to go over there and check if I remember and uh, pick up any loot that may have fell on the ground. Um, there, there it is. Yeah, that's all my loot. So I finally, um, no, I thought I had enough materials to make the armor stand, but I don't yet. So I'm still four leather short for the armor loom. So that means I still have to go out and grind and try to find which of these bad guys are dropping leather. I know it's not the goblins. I've killed enough goblins uh, now to know what they drop. And that's pretty much going to be souls or flint, maybe bones. Uh, so I still have to find the bad guys in this game that consistently drop leather so that I can produce that armor loom and finally make some pants and a shirt. So we're back on the hustle. We're back on the grind. We're back uh, going out. I'm going to probably just keep switching up my weapons, see which ones I like, uh, see which ones are going to be kind of my favorite. You know, slot one, slot two weapons, and then that will kind of set set the bar for the the gameplay in the future as far as what style of weapon I like to stick with.
Okay, so one thing that is consistent, this little area right here is always full of deer. So you would think that the deer would give me the leather that I need for the armor crafting benches, but I don't think these deer drop the type of leather that I'm looking for. They may be dry, dropping like hide or pelt or something because there is a tanning bench in this game. So it would make sense that the animals are dropping things that you're going to drop in a tanning bin, uh, which probably is going to give you leather as well. So um, I believe I have enough materials to build a tanning bench, but I'm not sure. So uh, I'm still going to take out a couple deer and get what I can from them. But at this point, my main focus continues to be trying to find the leather so that I can build that armor bench. So as soon as I can figure out how to shoot this bow and arrow, I'm going to take out a couple of these deers and see what they drop on a consistent basis. And then that lets me know in the future um, what I can expect from them. All right, so these dudes rose up off the ground, so it must be nighttime because that's the only time I see these uh, these purple magic ball shooting guys. Um, uh, they are a pain. You just kind of keep moving. You can't take them out. What I like to do is I, I like to take them back to um, the super Viking lady in the middle, and she usually pretty much make short work of these guys um but i kind of lost my bearings i know i'm close to the camp i think the super viking lady is over here to the bottom right um if i can get them close to her she's going to come to life and just kind of clobber these guys but right now i'm just kind of like seeing how the shield works how the shield and sword works and I'm staying close to the tree, you notice, because they're they're really taking my energy down. So if I can get close to the tree, I can go ahead and get get some healing going. The shield does pretty good, actually. Uh, there she is. She came to life. Look how she just smashes those guys. And I'm, I guess I wasn't close enough to the tree to heal myself, but they took a good chunk of health uh the shield does a pretty good job of blocking the purple balls but does a lousy job of blocking those siths because you know them swinging that sith around just really took a lot of my energy accidental teleport there didn't mean to um but since i'm here i might as well top off my health uh before i go back out on the grind to find the leather that i need um, the bow and arrow is kind of like so-so for me. Uh, I like the range attack. I'm probably only going to use it for hunting deer or hunting wild animals. But right now, um, I got it in the second slot. And here we got another saga quest I just unlocked. So I guess I leveled up enough to unlock more stuff. So, All right, so pelts. Pelts is what these deer consistently give me. They do not give me leather. So... Once I have the tanning bench built, I'll be pushing that pelt into the tanning bench and hopefully getting some leather out of it. Now, here's a full camp of these guys, and they consistently drop leather. Uh, tanning stand. I have seven leather out of eight that I need. So the tanning stand and the armor loom are both competing for leather. So hopefully this, this camp full of bad guys will give me enough leather to produce both stands. So we're going to practice our uh, sword play, sword and shield play here while we're at it. And I'm staying away from those little rolling bombs because I learned my lesson from the goblin guys. Yep. Shield does good. I let him whack me. Doesn't take any energy away. And then I just go ahead and hit him a couple times. Except for when he charges up like that. That's some kind of super attack. Booyah. All the ingredients have been gathered for the armor loom. But I still need the ingredients for the tanning stand. 
So I have to keep grinding these guys out, maybe even clear this whole camp. And hopefully I'll have enough leather for both the armor loom and the tanning stand. Some all right loot. Um, I cleared this this little camp out, so um, decent loot, but not the greatest. Um, I didn't see anything that was like green letters or blue letters or purple letters, so nothing. A lot of common items there. There's still some dudes on the outside of the barricade, so there's still opportunity for me to get some good leather here. But I really am super low on health, so I really gotta watch getting hit like I just did um, anyways we're gonna res head back over there if I can remember the direction but that's gonna be the source of our leather um, we could just go ahead and drop the bench down here now or we could just head back over there and continue fighting those guys to get more leather uh, we're going to take a little break here and and look at our weapons and make sure nothing's broken. Since we're here, we might as well repair all our stuff. And then we'll head back out. All right, so here's a unique area that I haven't seen yet. Off to the right, looks like the ground is blue. I'm not sure if that's like shallow water, um, but definitely gonna go check that out. Will I clear some of these trees? But um, there you go. So, oh, so they have like a little wooden wall there blocking from getting over there. I'll just well get some pelt. Oh, these guys drop fur, so. All right, so we got a little barricade here that we should be able to smash through. And then we're gonna explore uh, a little bit more over here to the right, see what this area is. 
been kind of going long. Um, there we go. So this is called Ash Beach. Okay. And we got more camps. We got some warriors here. I'm not sure how strong they are, but maybe they drop leather too. So we'll just kind of explore this area. But yeah, we've been going at it for, for a minute here. So um, I think we're going to probably pick this up as far as continuing on exploring this part of the world. Um, there you go. So we are close to the ocean. So yeah, but we went pretty long on that one. That was pretty fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a bookmark in this now. We're going to come back in the next video exploring that beach a little bit more and seeing how tough those bad guys are on that beach. So uh, as always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.